the edge with April Mahoney brains. Here, this is the place where the conversation is pointed, the guests are sharp, and the responses are never dull. <laughs> Welcome home, brains. Coming to you straight from San Diego, California. Let's welcome our host, April Mahoney. So you can enjoy your dinner outside, and that's what I did last week. It's awesome. Well, I'm glad, and I'm glad that you are here with me on the edge. Yay. Frank, Yay. Look who is there! <laughs> Gabrielle Howard. She's originally from Germany. And now she's here in San Diego and she is doing some amazing things. She has a program that is online on YouTube that she has had some incredible interviews. How many did you do, baby? 30? I actually did 32 interviews with wow. 32 speakers, experts from around the world. Wow. And you know what it was on? It was like, help me pivot brains. You know, I bring my pointer out when I want to emphasize it. Okay. <laughs> Because that is what we need to do. You know, it's like doing a dance. You've got to move from one leg to the other. You've got to step back. You've got to move forward. You've got to go around. But all of that is good. And you can do that. If you have a team that can help you, if you have good instruction, if you have coaches, if you have mentors, and if you have a sense of direction. So that's what we're going to talk to Gabrielle Howard about today, about how do we pivot and she's also a global warrior. She's traveled around the world, and she's going to tell us how that impacts her life as well as the uh, impacts the lives of other women. So welcome her to The Edge. How are you, Gabrielle? I am fantastic, and thank you so much, April, for having me in your show oh, on I The Edge. You. you are so animated. I love you. I love you. I met you through another one of my great interviews, and. Uh, you know, she just talked you up to the moon and she said, you've got to talk to Gabrielle. She's on the cutting edge. She's such a trailblazer. So tell us a little bit about you and how you show up in the world, Precious. So you mentioned that I'm a global warrior. So I originally grew up in Germany. So I'm from the, the other side of the globe. But I've been in the United States for uh, 30 years now. And I still travel around the globe. So I love different cultures, different um, languages. I'm all over, you know, different languages. Right now I'm learning Spanish and I speak four other languages. Wow. So, and my business has been really, my career has been in helping corporations and business owners place their products and services into international markets. So I know a lot about what it takes to get into different countries because obviously as you sell into different countries, there are different regulations that oh, apply. Yes. There's rules. There, there are. are rules and regulations and that's what I have dealt with, that I have multiple personalities. So there's, there's <laughs> another, <laughs> I also <laughs> love coaching emotional intelligence. So I've coached quite a bit also. So I help corporations, but I also coach a lot. I coach a lot of women. And right now I am passionate. So my quarantine project was actually helping people pivot. So, because I, I noticed there was so much fear around me, so yeah. much anxiety. And so I thought, how can I help people right now? So but I decided. You know, on, you know what's going on, Gabrielle, is that one of the biggest drawbacks, and you know me, I talk to everybody on the planet, is people are still playing small. Yes. They're still playing small. They're still looking at their minimal or minuscule circle of influence. You, the world is your oyster now, brains, mm -hmm. and this is the, the perfect time to tap out and to reach out and to connect. For the person that's sitting there, for the woman that's sitting there right now saying, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to homeschool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a job. I'm unemployed, but I want to tap into an international market. What would be one or two suggestions that you would give them just to make an introduction? Mm -hmm. So what, what I would first want to figure out is do I have any emotions coming up, right? Fear, anxiety, and kind of 
figure out where those are co coming from, right? Stick with them for a little bit, figure out where they are coming from, and then step into a mode of creation, right? And how, what do I do when I'm in that mode of creation? I want to figure out what am I passionate about? So I typically start with a very simple list, right? What is it that I love to do? What would I do if, I, if money would be no option? Then I would make another list, maybe thinking about what am I good at? What are people telling me all the time? What, what are they asking me questions about? What am I good at? And then I could make another list as what am I making money with? What I, have I made money with? What can I monetize? And then kind of come up with some circles, maybe some sweet spots. But it's very important to figure out what is your passion, right? And then is there a way that you can solve a problem right now? Absolutely. Very important. Um, that is the recipe for success. Absolutely. Because again, you have to identify what you're good at. What are you going to enjoy doing? How are you going to monetize it? So that was brilliant. That was brilliant. And it's very simple. I would also say that, you know, we have social media. Look into international groups, you know, uh, do a lot of Google searches, talk to some friends of friends, and just really try to create a new network of people because you become saturated in your same circle of influence. They say, oh, here comes an event. Here comes April. She wants me to buy a ticket. Or, you know, here's a networking meeting. Or this is a luncheon. And she, you know, they get tired of that. So what you want to do is step outside of your comfort zone. So now, what would you say to a person that is already established in a business and they're worried about our, their future? How do you help them um, find some sort of comfort and some sort of ease when it comes to pivoting and shifting? Because, you know, you can already be established, but you're still going to have to be innovative and you're going to have to make some changes. Yes. So definitely if you are impacted by the, the times right now, it's important to look at different opportunities, right? How can I serve my audience in different ways online? So a lot of my speakers and a lot of the people around me, they had to pivot and they took what they knew, right? And they offered it on different platforms. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to be able to figure out, is there something that I'm already offering and can I package it in a different way? That's number one. Number two, what I believe in, I had a billionaire in my show, Ooh. She says it's a really, really good idea to have multiple sources of income. Oh, yes, girl. You've got to have more than one udder to milk. <laughs> so get a side hustle going, girl. Get a side hustle going because it's a, again, or maybe take a look at your investments. I had a couple of financial planners on. So you want to have a quadrant, the I quadrant, right? For those of us who love rich dad, poor dad. Let's get into the I, and if that makes us feel more calm. If we have some passive income, who doesn't love to make money while we sleep? I do, right? I do. And having a side hustle right now might also help you and sleep better. Having multiple sources of income is a good idea, in my opinion. So that's, that's, a, that's advice that I also receive. And... It's a really, really good time to just be still and truly figure out what are you passionate about? Maybe what you've been doing for years, that's really not something that uh, gets you excited. Because one question to ask yourself is, what, how are you waking up in the morning? Are you excited to get out of bed in the morning? Yes, right? I am. <laughs> Yes, I am, because it's a new day. But, you know, you are very instrumental with global impact. And you've traveled around the world. Yes. Where are you seeing women in this shift? I mean, we've just announced that we are going to have the very first black woman uh, yes. run side by side in the presidential race here. But what is the impact of women around the world? Because it's our time. 
it is our time to shine. It is our time to shine. And I see really so much growth out there. There are more women in business, more women making money. And still there is the good old boys club. We are all struggling with that. And I, so, I see, however, so many women empowering each other, banding together. And depending on the country that you are in, right? I, I deal a lot with um, Norwegian. So in Norway, it's a very beautiful environment where really women are treated well. And it's not a country that really focuses much on titles, right? So depending on the culture you are in, there are actually cultures where women are on top already. So I've, I've seen that. And there is still so much, so much work to be done because also we as women have a lot of work to do in regards to self-worth because we have so many different tasks, right? Some of us also are mothers. So we're dealing with, okay, we might be really powerful in our career, and we also want to be the perfect mom. So we literally need to be super women, right? As women. <laughs> so, well, you know, and it is about a work life balance and you right. can to really do that. So what are some of the things that you do that, you know, um, that feed your soul for life? What, what makes life fun for you? So definitely travel. I, I'm somebody that loves experiences, right? So I need to really get into different cultures, different countries. What makes life exciting for me is that I've been in an environment, I have a lot of coaches around me, and they constantly tell me to get uncomfortable and stretch myself and level up. Right. So that's, that's really exciting. And one other thing, um, what I, I love people. So I love always being surrounded by different people, different cultures. And one other thing that I want to mention, what happened during my, my uh, series, right? One of my speakers told me, you're only one connection away from changing your life. And that is so powerful. So as you are zooming out a little bit more, as you are traveling, making connections, talking to like-minded people, right? Yes. Your life can change in a minute as you're leveling up, as you're getting uncomfortable, as you're expanding your circle. So it's really important to get out of the box. And I love to get out of the box because I get bored. I'm easily bored. I get bored staying in my box. I do too. That, and that but it, it's that circle of influence also is, you know, it can be deafening because they have the same old conversation. So when you are uncomfortable, you stretch yourself. And that bandwidth is so important. Yes. Um yes. so out when you're traveling. What are some of the things that you like to do during your recreation time? Because I just love you. You're so animated. Um, you know, do you like to dance? Do you like to cook? Do you like to immerse yourself in the culture? What, what are some of the things that you like to do personally? The first thing that came to mind is I like to eat. <laughs> so I like to experience the, the culture, you know, just like in the movie and in the book, Eat, Pray, Love, you know? Yeah. What does, what does our uh, actress, what does she do in Italy? She just sits in the restaurants and she eats and she listens and watches. So I, I like to be in the street cafes. I like to observe. I like to look at people. I like to enjoy the local foods. And I mentioned earlier, I love languages. So I like to talk. I like to speak. And I actually make it a point to learn the language of the country that I'm traveling to. Even right. if I'm not fluent, I don't care. I will make sure that I connect. Right. So that's another right. really important message here during these, these times, right? We really want to learn to connect more deeply and get out of all these distractions. So right. now during quarantine, during COVID, it's a good time to connect. And also as we are traveling, when we are allowed to travel again, mm -hmm. for me, it's important to connect. But what do I do for fun? I mean, I also do some sightseeing, but really people are more important to me and being with the people, talking, connecting, 
and finding out more about them. So that, that's what I enjoy. I'm a people person. Let me circle back because is that what gave you the inspiration to do your series? Yes, because I'm, I'm, I noticed a lot of fear also, I'm, I'm still kind of in, in a corporate environment too. So I noticed a lot of fear, a lot of scarcity, right? A lot of companies, a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs freaking out and not knowing how to pivot. I noticed a lot of like fear and anxiety around me because I am so connected. Originally, I was going to do a series on how to attract quality men, believe it or not. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> thought, that would have been more than 32 uh, <laughs> episodes, okay? Because that doesn't work right there. But I, I just thought it, it would be a good idea to help people uh, during uncertain times and figure out, you know, uh, what else can we do to deal with all these emotions and how can we generate some cash? right? Because my show is called Turning Fear into Confidence That Creates Cash. And I actually had speakers, by the way, talking about traveling and uh, the globe. I had, of course, speakers from around the globe mm -hmm. that were sharing their thoughts with us. I had Germany on, I had uh, Australia on, I had Spain. So obviously, we had thoughts that were shared from around the world. And what I, I noticed, the emotions that are coming up are all the same. We all are coming from the same place. We feel the same. We, we feel the same uncertainties. And so all of those tools that, you know, apply to the, to the whole uh, globe. So that was so, so fun about my passion project. Okay, so now with the perfect pause, that's what I call COVID-19 is the perfect pause because it's caused everyone to put the brakes on. What has all of this taught you about you? It's taught me how valuable it is to take a break and do a reset and to stop. Since, um, you know, I traveled so much, right? This time did not allow me to travel. So this was the perfect time for me to sit still and get into a mode of creation. So that's why I now created a Help Me Pivot program. So a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I can help women. And I'm also going to allow some men. So there are some men struggling. And so helping them uh, create, create a side hustle, step mm -hmm. out of fear. So I took this time to really uh, just be still and create. And I didn't really have an excuse to, you know, be in, in, the, in the, how do I call that, the rat race maybe, right? Because COVID forced us all to basically take a look at ourselves, sit in stillness, and um, some of us might have done like Netflix marathons instead. Oh, I've been stunning. I again in the afternoon. I you know because I have strange working hours, but in the afternoon, oh yes, I get a couple hours of binging in, <laughs> and it's good for your soul. You know, mind yes. mindlessness entertainment is good for your soul. The big twenty five dollar words now um, are emotional intelligence and relationship yes. capital. Define those for me. So emotional intelligence is everything. And I truly, truly wish I would have had it when I was a teenager. So for me, that is really being aware as to how to deal with emotions and where they are coming from, right? Because we might have had some experiences as a child. We might have adopted, we might have gone through some trauma. We might have dealt with some family stuff, right? And just learning to be aware of what comes up. And there is a term we use in the emotional intelligence community and that, that's shadows. So basically be aware of all the shadows and those shadows also express themselves in limiting beliefs. And I'm glad you brought that up because limiting beliefs are in the way of you being able to create and truly, you know, step 
into your passion sometimes because you might think you're not good enough and that's a limiting belief. And then there's another term that you mentioned. What was the other term you wanted to explain? Relationship capital. Is relationship. Building those relationships. Oh, like, yeah. Like the one you and I are building. Yes. So relationships are very important because we get to help, get to ask for help, right? If there, for example, let's just say I just got, got laid off, right? I'm sitting at home. I'm worried and I'm a very proud person. So it's a really good idea to really step out of that pride and ask for support and give another person the gift of giving to you, right? So it's a matter of giving and receiving. So don't be afraid to help, to ask for help, to ask for support. And then, you know, these uh, relationships, as I just mentioned, you're only one connection away from changing your life. So relationships allow you to co-create. Right now, you know, I'm co-creating a lot with people. And it's, you, you, it's so inspirational. And co-creation will also, and I, I mentioned that again, help you zoom out. One of my coaches taught me all about zooming out. And I love that. And that's really uh, always being open to right. asking questions and also talking to people that have different opinions than you, right? Because Absolutely. people might not vote for the uh, same uh, party. Right now we're very divided. The country is very divided. There are different opinions about wearing masks. You know, some people believe in COVID, others don't. And still allowing a relationship with a person that might have a different opinion Absolutely. than you and that and learning from them and that's a challenge and that's where we can allow or should allow some breakthroughs right because it's well, so much get quicker stuck. and going on <laughs> right. well i mean they get stuck they get i say get stuck on stupid you know yes. it's because they you know that's all that they know but this is a big world there's a lot of opportunities there's yes. a lot of blessings out there that we have not explored or discovered um, so what would you tell a 25 year old Gabrielle Howard about life in general? <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, quote one of my speakers, Fly Girl. Mm. Uh, she's an African American, um, fighter pilot turned life coach. And she would tell me something that resonated, make a gutsy move. What's your gutsy mood? So I would tell a 25 year old, don't be afraid to step into your passion, have courage and get uncomfortable and make some gutsy moves in your life. Don't let anybody hold you back from what you're meant to do. So, and so my, um, my speaker, Fly Girl, she had a flight plan and her question would be, are you ready to engage? Wow. So I really would encourage a 25 year old to engage and make some gutsy moves. Okay. On the flip side of that, you're at the uh, crossroads of your life and um, you're about to meet our ultimate maker. What would you want to say mm -hmm. And what, and how would you like to be received and remembered? That's a good question. So I would say to myself, I would say, keep on going. Don't be afraid. Have fear for breakfast. <laughs> Don't let fear I keep you that. from anything. I love that. I love that. Have fear and, and have the courage. Absolutely. Well, you have just been a wealth of information. You are so fun. Uh, you are just so animated. I can't wait for us to get together and do some work together because there's got to be some influence that I know that you're going to pour into me and I'm going to connect you with everybody on the planet that I know. Uh, Brains, please go in, okay, and watch her Help Me Pivot series on YouTube. She's going to give us all the information here in a second. 
But let me tell you, I was taking notes, okay? She has some of the best and brightest. I'm going to have to get with you to see if I can get them on the edge because they were real fireballs. I mean, there was no sloppy second serve there at all. So tell my brains how to get in contact with you, Gabrielle Howard. So right now, if you want to just send me an email, right? Email me at helpmepivot at gmail.com. To get into this series right now, talking about binge watching, simply click on helpmepivot.com, put in your email and your first name. And right now in the month of August, you can binge watch all 32 interviews, right? Of every, all the experts and listen to their advice. And if you want help with pivoting, again, just email me to helpmepivot at gmail.com and helpmepivot, that's just one word. Well, talk about a side hustle. I can see you being a television commentator, having your own YouTube channel. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, because you've helped people pivot. You, You've got ideas on how to create the perfect relationship and find the perfect man. And I'm sure that you have a wealth of other things up there in that arsenal and that big brain. So again, thank you so much for being here on the edge with me and my brains. Brains, I encourage you to go in and subscribe to hit that button. You know that little red button? Hit it right now. Okay, <laughs> tell all your friends about On the Edge with April Mahoney. We are global. We're on LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram. We have great guests. We're going to have Gabrielle back. Uh, I'm going to try to talk her into being in my podcast, Potluck. You know, we haven't done that with the chef hat in a long time. So I'm looking forward to that. Again, thank you so much for being here. I honor and I value you. I really do. Thank you so much for having me on the edge, April. On the edge of my chair. <laughs> All right, we'll talk again soon.